I just love everything about it. You want to take the camera out and about, throw these on, you'll still be able to talk through the wind. It's grip right here. I use that grip all the time. Oh my gosh, this is so needed. It wasn't too expensive. It's not too bulky. Well, this helped me out a lot. The last one, oh my gosh, you need this so much if you have the Sony ZV. Hey everyone, thank you so much for being here. This is A Day With Destiny and TJ and I'm Destiny. This is a lifestyle channel. Okay, so today we're gonna talk about the four attachments that I think you need for this Sony ZV, that I know you need for this Sony ZV-1 camera. So this Sony ZV-1 is the Sony vlogging camera. They made specifically for vlogging. I have all the details Details, all the features the unboxing video of this camera also on my channel and I will link it below this one so if you want to know everything about it why well, I love it so much you can go check that video out I do still use my cell phone out and about when I'm vlogging but this is the one that I use at home all the time so every time you see all the videos filmed on this channel at home my hauls unboxings everything it's always with this camera so I'm gonna show you the attachments that I've added for this camera that I think you really, really must have. This camera is just so great for out and about, for travel. I just love everything about it, but I do feel like it needed a few extra things and that's why I added these four items that I feel like you must have. Just to upgrade this camera a little bit, but really it did a lot. Okay, so let's get to it. The first thing that I got when I bought this camera was I got a mic. You can see it right here on it. I got this off Amazon. Again, a reasonably priced mic. This has done so much for my videos. I just love it so much. I think the volume is so good. It does have a button on the top where you can switch it to only the front facing mic or use two. So there's a mic in the back and in the front. I usually just keep the button on both just in case I forget. But you know, if it's just me talking to the camera, sometimes I will switch it to the front mic. So I love that it gives you that option. The button's only for either the front mic or both. So yeah, so if you're just talking to the camera and you don't want the noise maybe in the background, you can switch the button to just the front and then that way it kind of eliminates the noise from the back if you don't want to pick that noise up. Also, this camera came with the wind muffle. I don't know what this is called, you guys. Again, I'm not a photography expert or anything, which why this camera again is perfect for somebody like me and I'm sure most of you are like me. So yeah, this came with the, uh, the wind buffer um, that sits right there on the camera, makes it look cute too. But when you put the mic on, obviously, you need another one. So this mic came with these two and you put it on just like that. This comes in so handy. It's windy all the time out here. So if you want to take the camera out and about, throw these on, you'll still be able to talk through the wind. It's perfect. So this came right on top like this. It does plug in so easily. You just plug it into the side. You slip it on the front and you guys, you're ready to go. A clear mic just sounds so much better. I've actually switched from this camera, maybe doing like an intro. I do this all the time, but maybe doing an intro like this for you all at home because I love this camera for home. And then I want to go out and about and be incognito, not carry all this, you know, when I'm vlogging out and about. So I switch to my cell phone all the time and I notice the volume's way different. This is clear. This is way louder. Another thing is when I'm doing my hauls, I'm like across the room doing hauls, trying to show you the full outfit. And I don't have to scream any longer because the mic picks up so much. Love this mic. This is great. This is key. Grab yourself a mic, it'll change your videos. Love this one, so you really need this one. Okay, let's get to number two. The next thing that I got for this camera is this cage. You can see it right here. All these items I got off Amazon, this came in really handy. Oh my gosh, this was a lifesaver. So underneath is where you screw in your camera to a stand. Well, I broke that part off. Let me try to explain what I mean, okay? So this little part right here ended up inside of the bottom of my camera because I had a cheap ass stand before that I didn't upgrade. Put it on my stand, this camera, when I took it off, that screw ended up going inside the bottom. So I took it to Best Buy, they couldn't take it out. They recommended that we get this piece from Amazon that was supposed to drill up in your hole to get the little uh, metal part out. We did that, totally warped it, ruined my camera. So I'm thinking, oh my gosh, you have to have this camera on a stand. You can't just put it on top of books or something at your house. You have to have that hole for the stand. So now I'm like, my whole camera's ruined. What do I do? I'm gonna have to buy another camera. I've only had this one for not that long. So I looked over the internet and I found a cage piece, but it wasn't this full cage for the Sony ZV-1. It was half. Well, I ordered that one and it hooked in the bottom, but you need the hook again. I didn't have that because it's warped. So I found this piece and look, you guys see on the front right here, it screws in right here. 
So that's all you need is this little screw. So it goes, the cage goes around your camera and then you just screw it in right there. So easy. This cage was a lifesaver for me, but not just that, you can do so many things with it. So I'm so excited to use it for more things. There's a great grip right here. I use that grip all the time. I love that grip. So now my camera's not just sliding out of my hand. I can actually grip it and I just feel more sturdy with this cage. I love it. It's not that heavy at all. It was a great price on Amazon, came quick. That's why I love Amazon. I can plug in a stand underneath at the same time. I can plug in another grip holder to the side. I can plug in a light on the top. There's so many different plugs that I could use now because there's so many different holes all over this cage. So I love that. Also, one big thing with this camera, you need to switch out your battery during filming sometimes. So now with this cage, I don't have to take my camera all the way off my stand every single time. You can just open it up underneath because the cage isn't in front of the camera open door. So I saw that in the review. So now you can just open the little door underneath, take out your um, battery, switch it out easily, and then you're good to go. So yeah, love this. Can't wait to use it for different things. Again, another great upgrade that's not that pricey either. Okay, let me show you the next item. This is the new lens that I got. Oh my gosh, this is so needed. Why? Because it's a wide angle lens. I don't know why, but this camera was so up close. I felt like it was always in my face. And I felt like every time I was looking like in selfie mode or something, I was way too close to the camera. If you've watched any of our vlogs recently, I was actually complaining about that because I'm always using this camera with the selfie stick in the car because it's way too close. It's even closer than my cell phone. I don't know why the camera looked like that, but I'm just always so close in it, even when I'm zoomed out as much as I can. So I said, I need to see if this camera has a wide angle lens for it because this is killing me. It was just way too close up and I love this camera. So I'm so glad I found this lens. It wasn't too expensive. It's not too bulky, although it is a little bit heavier, but I'm okay with that because I needed this wide angle lens so much. So it's not a light lens. It does make the camera, even this is a light camera, but it makes the camera even a little bit more heavy, but it's okay. I need this wide angle lens so much much so when I shoot my hauls also I've already tested this out in the corner there behind me if you can see I usually shoot in that corner but I put my camera right there on the stand so it's always too close I've complained to you all before about this I said I need a bigger room because I can't even show you the length of my pants or my outfit because I'm so close to the camera it's cutting me off so I had that issue before now this fixed my issue it's not a huge wide angle it's about I don't even know how many inches it said I think it's like it feels like it's like eight to ten inches I don't know but it makes a huge difference when it comes to just getting you know a few more inches to show you my shoes that's going along with the outfit or whatever I just noticed it I'm sure you guys have noticed it I've complained about this room being too tiny before but really I just needed a wide angle lens <laughs> you even saw me get on my couch because I wanted to show you the bottom of that long jacket that I had in another vlog well this helped me out a lot like I said it's not that wide but it definitely helps, so I needed this. This lens was so easy to put on also, and you just unscrew it one time, and then you get the macro lens, which is, I guess, an up-close view if you wanna film. I saw people like filming flowers or insects. You can zoom in a lot more. I don't really do that. I don't do photography with this camera. I have another camera for that. So this is just video for me. I don't see myself zooming in on anything, especially not selfies. But uh, as far as the wide-angle lens, it's been perfect. It does tape on to your lens. Um, but it's been pretty sturdy. I haven't had any issues with it, but I am very careful when it comes to this camera. I only use it at home mostly. Uh, I use it out and about with, for travel because I just think it's a cool movie camera. It, it works really, really nicely, but so is your cell phone. Your cell phone's great too. Haven't used it a lot yet, but this is definitely a lens that you need to get if you have the Sony ZV-1. The wide angle is just so needed, so love it. Okay, let's move on to the last accessory. The last one, oh my gosh, you need this so much if you have the Sony ZV-1. Of course you need a stand, but I've upgraded from my cheap little stand that broke my camera almost. So it's behind me, it's so beautiful, and it's sturdy. Let me show it to you because this is a great buy. Even if you don't have this camera, this is great for any camera. This literally, you guys, is the perfect stand, and I think it was like $50. A stand for under $100 this sturdy, I mean, this is like worth $150 to me, and I'm gonna show you why. So let me take you over there, let's go see it. Okay, so first of all, check out this beautiful color. It comes in, I think, three different colors. I picked this one, I love it. And then it comes with the bag, as you can see, it's got a little hook right there for your stuff, but I just hooked that on so I wouldn't lose it. And then it's so light, here's the handle. You can run up and down the stairs with that, I love it. I usually change, you know, shooting areas in this house. So that's awesome. And then it comes with a little stabilizer equalizer thing. I needed that, you guys. Some of my videos were just off. But now they're gonna be straight for you all. 
and then it comes with this at the top that hooks in your camera and also it comes with ones for your cell phone so you can just hook this right on so this stand is just the perfect stand honestly yeah love it two different ways three different ways love it it's just so easy to use you can move this around it goes to about seven feet i want to say so of course you just adjust it this way and then it goes higher or lower whatever you need it for let me show you one cool feature that i've already used so this is also a selfie stick so you take it out here we already used this on the last vlog with you all i was actually talking about this now i'm showing you i love it so it came in so handy now my face doesn't have to be so close when i'm in the car I just used it in the car or anywhere it's so long so this is perfect so you literally get like two in one you get your stand and then you get your selfie stick and it's just so easy to use love this thing it does go like i said pretty high i want to say about seven feet it's super sturdy but light love this you really need the stand even if you don't have this camera i will link it below i hope this helped out anybody that has this sony zv1 camera these little attachments will upgrade your camera for sure. They're so needed. I hope you liked this video. Please give it a like if you did. And if you want to see the whole video with the Sony ZV-1, all the details, features, I'll link that below as well. We're here every Saturday and Wednesday at 10 a.m. We love to do other unboxings, reviews. We have so much fun on this channel, you guys, so go check it out. Thank you all for watching. Bye!